today um, on this beautiful autumnal day mm. to talk about day two of the Discovery Yarn Tour, which occurred on September 7th is when yes, we did us. that. Mm -hmm. yes. Our yarn tour, oh, you know what? We should have introduced ourselves. Oh. Oh. oh, so we'll start at this end and work our way down. I'm Allison. I'm Jennifer. I'm Crystal. And I'm Darcy. There we go. That I'm like, we're missing something here. Yeah. So the Discovery Yarn Tour is a collection of shops that have come together to do this wonderful tour during the whole month of September. The whole month. I think it ended on the 22nd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, a fun little passport, and you get a cute little bag, and we talked a little bit about it in previous episodes. And collect the pins along yeah. the way. And um, so we went to three shops that were on the tour, but we actually went to four shops. And we are going to begin with that fourth shop, because that was our first stop. Right. It was so close to where we were, and um, it is called... Three sheep. Right. Not and to the she's wind. <laughs> Not three sheep to the wind, just three sheep. I'm sure they get that a lot. And she's a weaver? Yes. yes. Is that correct? Yes. A weaver? She's a weaver. Mm -hmm. She has yarn. She has wonderful gift ideas or mm -hmm. gift things. A lot of makers. A lot of, yes. yes. And mm -hmm. she supports a lot of um, our local women, artisans. Local women artisans, local women uh, female owned businesses. Mm -hmm. um, they do a lot of charitable stuff. They had just recently. A um, knitted knocker stuffing party. Mm -hmm. um, so they have people that are <laughs> knitting. Their, she didn't know what knockers were. Knitting their knockers, and then they came, all came together to stuff them all. Yes, and mm -hmm. donate them to their local um, breast cancer mm -hmm. center. Mm -hmm. And she is located at six zero one zero Market Street in Boardman, Ohio four four five one two. Technically, she is not in the um, Yarn Discovery Tour, mm -hmm. and we certainly hope that that is able to change. Yes. Because we really well did yes. like her shop a lot. Um, to the point where Jen and I were small children, <laughs> and as soon as the door opened, literally, we pushed Crystal out of the way, <laughs> like, armed her, and we I both won. took off for this bag. <laughs> it is the cutest little bag. And, and Crystal and Allison had to politely apologize to the, the owner for owner. the children. <laughs> and then I pointed out, you know, yeah, and Jen's a teacher. <laughs> yes, the teacher. Okay. The yeah. teacher. The teacher who took the day off school right. to go on this yarn tour. <laughs> With a lovely little lining. But it's lining. so cute. So yeah, we fought over that bag, but yeah. then I we saw other bags, yes. so then we both ran yeah. to the other bags. And At which point I had to say, children, behave. <laughs> yes, mommy. <laughs> but she she had a small selection of yarn, but just like right. Gwen Erin and, um, well, I wouldn't say that Bare Naked had a small selection, but no. it's that quality, beautiful, mm -hmm. local yarn. Right. And um, she had clay bowls and mugs and soaps and bags. All handmade. Yes. A lot of weaving stuff, a lot of, a lot of weaving. weaving supplies. She, she was Japanese, teaching a class there. Japanese uh, weaving Garments. Mm -hmm. What do I want to say? Looms. Looms. Thank you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I can't remember the name of them, but they are really high quality loom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she has weaving workshops. And, and mm -hmm. she was actually teaching someone at the mm -hmm. time when we were there too. Yeah. I think so she sorry also for interrupting the class. Spinning mm -hmm. stuff too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not as much as Not Gwen as Aaron, much as but, Gwen, yeah. but what I fell in love with there was that she has wool blends that have tencel in them, which is really hard to find, and they were hand dyes. And I found this gray tonal thing that. I just couldn't come up with an idea of what I'd make out of it, but I was dying for it. So. Very nice. And she so, showed such restraint. I'm so amazed because <laughs> the rest of us... I didn't did. know what restraint. What is that? I had no restraint because there was a bag behind the counter that I just went out and picked. I'm like, oh, I like the... Oh, this is her bag. This <laughs> is her so I was a little <laughs> off the <laughs> hook on that one. You can see why Crystal and I were apologizing. <laughs> Yeah. That's not so, normal behavior. So in three sheep. I apologize. I just loved your shop. I, mean, loved I it. love the things. I love mm -hmm. yarn, but to have right. a pretty bowl, to have a pretty bag, right. it just it makes your project right. just that much more. And fun. I've received her newsletter since, and she does oh. have these little like mm -hmm. take and make uh, weaving workshops yes. and some other knitting knit along things. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so 
so. I think she marked my name off of her mailing list because I have not. And <laughs> she I know did I, it signed, I got the email too. I must have been the bad child. She's like, she's not going to know my things, but mm-hmm. I'll be better next time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, you're right because that's how I knew about the stuffing party was I had seen that's right. her stuff. Yes. This is the bag I got and I am absolutely in love. It has a little pocket inside. Mm-hmm. It is... Uh, apparently she is the maker or because it is a three sheet bag Mm -hmm. and I am totally in love I was carrying that around too for a while (laughs) oh were you because I I just it was sitting down when I found it I did not because I had set it down and picked up something else I did not steal it out of her hands (laughs) unlike other people might have had she needed to I (laughs) might have had I needed to I didn't that was not required of me thank heavens you were prepared yes (laughs) I did get a I put that one back because I found this one. It's a cute little bag, little notions bag, and it's got pink polka dot lining. It's so cute. So I had to get that. And then they had this little chicken pin. That's so cute. Hilarious. And this little pottery handmade little espresso cup. That is adorable. So I had to get it because I'm obsessed with pottery cups now. So that's what I got. So sweet. That feels good in the It hand. does. Oh, I kept carrying it yeah. around the store and I'm like, yeah, I'm getting it. I'm totally getting it. Very nice. I had to take it away from her. I had, to make, sure, I had to make sure that it got back to Is where that where I bought my powdering holder thing? I don't remember. Yes. yes. Okay, so yeah, I did. <laughs> Which I, I forgot to bring. It's this lovely black pattern notebook look thing that has a magnetic strip to hold your pattern in it. And I think these guys got tired of me losing my place in my pattern. <laughs> While she was knitting she in, the in the car. the car. We did so not get tired of it, but she, was, but she was like, I can't find my pattern again. Mm-hmm. I can't. And it's like, you know, they make things for that. <laughs> and you have and she's several seen before you a bunch guess, of them along the way. One. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, never... but I like that one. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Anyway, we recommend her. Yes. And yes. Lovely lady. Lovely yes. shop. Yeah. Very, so very nice. Three sheep. Highly recommended. Mm-hmm. And then we actually headed to another shop that wasn't on the tour, but had been on the tour last year. Damn. But unfortunately, they they had moved locations. Unfortunately, they were closed that particular Saturday. That's fiber addiction. And they did reach out to me and apologize. Oh, they did. Good. Yeah. yeah. Nice. yeah. But, but we were still bummed. We yeah, we were to bummed. See them. We liked them last year. And I think we needed a bathroom break. Yeah. <laughs> We were yeah. gonna like totally. <laughs> that that was in a coffee break because it was break. early in the yeah. morning. Yeah. And it was early we were enough that heading yeah. to Chagrin Falls. And I think next. we did stop at Starbucks, Starbucks right, right after that. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that we did. Okay. So our next stop from Boardman, we traveled all the way down to Chagrin Falls to the Artful Yarn Shop, which is 100 North mm-hmm. Main around the table. Around the table. Oh no, no we, we did, did it in reverse. reverse. Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, I'm like I thought oh, we did this one. Yes. Okay, okay. We did Artful reverse. Yarn, 100 North Main Street, Suite 230, Chagrin Falls, Ohio 44022, and it's theartfulyarn.com. Um, sweet little shop tucked away in this cute little brick building. Um, if you have a lot of people and you all need to go to the bathroom, that's not the place to go first. <laughs> no. There's a TMI. Yeah, well, too much. Hey, these are important things, that right? Yes, you right. need to know if you can stop to go. Yeah, because we yes. had gone to Boardman, we all got venties, and then we got to Chagrin Falls, and there was one toilet. So and we all had venties. And it was down <laughs> in the basement, and the door didn't lock. So, so you have to stand we, you need So guards. you do need a friend. You need a friend to make sure Good that no one comes in on you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But the Artful Yarn Shop. Would you like to begin? Sure. I um I it was a really neat place. I found these adorable nice. little um, lamb bobbins. So when you do your long tail mm-hmm. cast on and it's too long, and then you accidentally knit with the <laughs> tail, nobody would ever do that though. No. Oh oh okay. <laughs> okay. Oh then nobody needs this. I um, Actually, I was wishing I bought that <laughs> the next day. <laughs> I, I, you can have one. <laughs> I already have. I was going to say, I've, I've got some for because, my history now long, so I've Yeah, because there's um, only like five. You've got like a flock in there. I yeah, do, a small flock. Well, but they are flock. so cute, and they actually do work. Mm-hmm. And they had a couple different sizes. I got the smaller one that's more for your fingering. It's kind of hard to see. Weighty, yeah, but they're, take it out. They're little. And, um, they're little sheep. They're little sheep. <laughs> they are so cute. And so you just wrap the... The tail. The tail around there and then... And then they're fluffy sheep. Yes. Right. Maybe hold your hand Maybe behind, behind it. it. So, okay. Because it's so little. <laughs> but they no, seriously, are... the next day I was like, why didn't I buy this? Oh. 
They are adorable. Well, if you wait, they're, she keeps losing them. <laughs> yes. You yeah. might yeah. I just follow her around. Yeah. Yeah. She might just All the breadcrumbs. Yeah. No, I lose the whole bag. I mean, I you might have, have a whole flock. Yeah. Oh. He's trying to get out. Yeah, see? Get back in there. <laughs> it's an escapee. Bad boy. Yeah. And then I got one of the little Katrinkles. I got the Kitchener one. So, I mean, Kitchener stitch. So mm-hmm. And I got the same one. The same. So okay, perfect. There. I didn't but get But they had... They had a little, um, they had a basket of things that this is attached to that you could have a, your choice between a flip flop soap. Mm-hmm. So, from like the, little free gift? From the Village mm-hmm. Herb mm-hmm. Shop. And I don't know what the other thing was. Uh, um, bombs, bath bombs. Yes. Yeah. I think also Shower from bombs, the, from yeah. the um, Village Herb Shop. Which was really nice. Mm-hmm. Which was very nice. And then they also gave away this little packet yes. that inside of it has. Coupons. coupons and a label, a leather label that has the you know heart of yarn with um, knitting needles through it, and then the Artful Yarn logo mm-hmm. on it, and um, a tag for hand is it handmade how to and how to care mm-hmm. for your knits, and then some knitting reminders for garter stitch, stockinette, for how to make a smooth edge, make one right and left, and a PSSO um, di- direction like the sheet. Stuff that's on the Kertrinkles. Yes. Yeah. 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 Such a sweet little package. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it was it was a really nice touch um, to the to the visit, mm-hmm. and um, it's a small shop but well organized. It's easy to find what you're looking for. There's even a little space up front by the windows that you can sit in it. She has a room off to the side, I think, where she holds classes. Mm-hmm. 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 You gotta remember you put that Kathy there. is incredibly personable. I mean, she just she talks to you as if she's known you forever, mm-hmm. and yeah. um, felt very comfortable at that um, yarn shop as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I had bought some Barocco yarn, and this is actually a finished object. Ooh. Um, I just I love big chunky scarves. So this is called Coco. And um, it's by Barocco. There's no color. It's color 4908. And so I just love a big bulky scarf. It's big enough to kind of keep your chest warm. You can pull it up. You can, oh, and I, I use Tuft. Smell it. Mm. So I use the Tuft to wash it. But I just, I love that in the winter time. And mm-hmm. I, I have one that's all done in a natural fiber. And it's great. But I wanted to, I wanted color this mm-hmm. winter. Okay. So um, that was my project that I did. It was a quick knit. Um, I, I think I was knitting on this when... We were in the when, car. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, we went back up to Cast On. That yeah, was a different day. day. So oh, I was okay. actually doing this oh, in the car. Okay. So in her um, free pattern, okay. socks. Yeah. Because I really want to be a sock so knitter. Because you yeah. got the crochet. Cause because you oh, okay. want well, socks. Because <laughs> you can... Right. You can buy those. those babies. That's right. So um, okay, so it's this one, the yeah. apple yarn. So here's their knit pattern. It's mitts, mm-hmm. which are very cute. Mm-hmm. They are cute. Oh, is that a headband with it? Oh, it's a scarf. Scarf. Oh, yeah, the okay. same pattern. Hmm, it's very nice. Cute, cute. And I didn't get anything because I was on a mad search for project bags that were larger, and I didn't. Find them anywhere like large size for a whole sweater go to mrs brown's bag or there's one that's right over there in jen's room that i just want to take watch it if the cat's not guarding it (laughs) well when i walk by the cat will disappear so very good all right so ben was around the table yes which is Mm -hmm. another new store Mm -hmm. on the um tour Mm -hmm. and again we absolutely fell in love right it was packed oh my gosh it was packed it's in the new van aiken area at Mm -hmm. chagrin boulevard Mm -hmm. and they've redone that whole area there's buildings with cute little shops and lots of little restaurants Mm -hmm. and and it was good that we went on the day that we did because I think the next day they made a post about how you're going to have to find somewhere else to park because they decided oh. without telling any of the shop owners that they were repaving the whole lot. And so oh, nobody could get yeah. into their shop. So it's a good thing we went on yes. Yeah. Okay. I thought they had a really nice selection of yarn. They did. Mm-hmm. Very um, much so. A lot of upper, what do I want to say? Tier. Tier yarns. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Price and this is another new, brand new shop. They've right. only been open for... 
two months or something? Is it two or three months? Yeah. Yeah. Something, less than a, well less than a year. Six yeah. months at the most. Yeah, they plan to be open for the yarn tour. And they made it. Mm-hmm. And they had a huge table. And yeah. as we're looking at yarns, I'm like, oh look, they have the yarn I bought the day before in the wolf pack. And it's Tina's Tina. fiber, and Tina was at the table. Yes. Yeah. So, so hi, Tina. Tina. Hi, Tina. <laughs> so sweet, so kind. Um, they yeah. had lots of um, her yarn there, mm-hmm. beautiful, beautiful yarn. And it was fun the way the yarn flowed around the building, mm-hmm. the, the, the shop, and like I said, the big table in the middle. And there were a bunch of knitters knitting, and mm-hmm. there were locals that were coming in and out. There were people walking in with the bags. It was hopping. It was yes, um, very much so. And it was Beth, I know. And what was the other lady's name? I don't remember. I was just trying to figure out like if I had something anyway. that had their name. Very on knowledgeable it. ladies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I've known them from other beautiful menus. dogs. They had um, what were those whippets or greyhounds? Didn't they have dogs? They Isn't it yeah, corgi? Yeah, cor- yeah. I don't know. They had dogs there. It's a little different yeah. from corgi and whippet. That's what I'm thinking. I don't remember. <laughs> remember, I, remember I remember a little whippet. one. And yeah. it was like, like their mascot, and he just kind of like wandered around. And every once in a while, someone would be like, "Is the dog still here?" Did he get <laughs> Super sweet. I would definitely be back there. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So I had a gleaner on my list that oh, I yeah. wanted to find, and if I hadn't been like gazing up at all the yarn, I think it was you, Crystal, yeah. that are like, "Hey, look! Here's your yep. gleaner." So I got a gleaner, and I also got just a little wooden um, stitch marker progress keeper that says "Around the Table." Um, cool. Just a really sweet little shop. It cute little bag. I'm sure you all have seen these before. Sweater shaver. Um, it's got the little lint brush. Yeah, I went outside and I'm like in the parking lot because yeah, I have my we were in the parking lot, yeah. I'm grooming myself in the parking lot. And she's like, is it working? Is it working? And all you all we saw was like fluff Here, flying you know, away. Yeah, it, it was like a dog. I'm like, shape. I think you know so to because it. there you goes part it. of your like, sweater. I, 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 I haven't opened it since. Somebody opened, opened it. She opened it. So, but there's like different, there it is. There's all kinds of different. Okay, so she knows later there's this little button right here that's got an <laughs> all arrow. All you have to watch the So we're at 17 minutes in. Okay. And it opens up. <laughs> but this is Gleaner on the Go. It even has an arrow. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that we're all friends. All we're right, moving along. along. Moving along. along. There are three patterns. There are three patterns. It was, a st- it was a tie. I don't read directions. I skim. Oh, teacher. She's oh, a teacher. teacher. Oh, I love the tie pattern. I did too. I, I, want I really want to make it pattern. so I can wear it. Yes. And it, for 30 me, 30 grams, 150 yards. So this is going to be a, a scrap, no, stash buster. That's mm-hmm. the word I'm looking mm-hmm. for. And, um, I'm gonna do this. This is just I'm not too much. Do you want to have to wear a school tie? No, no, that's why I want to do it. Upon a time, it's like no. I'm gonna oh, okay. Oh. They also had this complimentary pattern from Blue Sky Fibers. Complimentary from complimentary Blue Sky. From Blue Sky. Really? Yes, Mom, yes, yes. You so didn't have to buy I, that used, thing? I didn't have to buy that thing. So I used that pattern to oh. make up the little. It was the cutest little kit. It um, came like a Sunday. Oh yeah, okay. oh, that's right. And yeah. it had the skein of yarn in it and the pom pom. If you go on Tina's Twisted and this Fibers is, this Instagram, is she actually shows the picture of that all assembled. So this is that Tina's is so Twisted cute. Fibers, and it's really cool because it even gave you the button to oh. sew in to oh, be able to remove. You would just remove the. So how do you? So you can oh. wash it without the pom pom. So you can so wash you, it without the pom pom. But so then do you like? Do a yarn over at the top or something to create a hole to put the button. Where's the button go? Because when you pull this all together, you know that creates that little hole in the top. Yeah, you put okay. the button through so the I hole put, first. So I put the I I just sewed the button and in the button. and pulled the pom pom the pom pom thing through. Oh, you sewed the button. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was confused about how the that button got in. Your colorway nice. is called majestic. Yes. It's a twisted hat kit. Yes. Oh, look at how much you have left is over. Yes. Yeah, that's a lot of yarn left over. I have no idea where it's going to go. May but I? I just, yes, you may. Is that too <laughs> adorable? That is too adorable. Love it. I love it. Very sweet. It does not look as cute on me. I don't do hats well. I love it. So, yes. But yeah, it was it was all put together like this with the pom-pom on top. And it was just too stinking cute. So, nice. And then I also, that same place, got 
The Knitter's Pride Zing They're so cute. needles. They're so cute. I want to they are, now. I they love are them. They are so cute. I absolutely love them. They're not that expensive. No. They're not that expensive. You know, Very Pink talks about Zings a lot, too. I think I want to get and them. Because these I are really very much like those yes. expensive yes. needles. That those I've very got. expensive yeah. needles. Yes. What are they called again? Signature. Signature, yes. Signature. For a lot less. But those are yeah, cute. Right? And, and these are really lightweight, too. They're very lightweight, and I got the 16-inch side, so I could use them to make this hat, so I was going to try them out right Good away. Choice. And it was a size 6 needle, and I absolutely loved them. Well, absolutely loved these. Enough to make a whole other hat there. I, mm -hmm. Probably. I haven't oh, weighed gosh. this to see how much is but there. But then she'll have to attack the cat to get a pom-pom. That's true. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. Oh, Her kidding. tail. Yeah. It would yeah. match. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not no doing cats that. will be harmed. In this. <laughs> no cats will be harmed in the making of a second half. Yes. Unless she gets my yarn again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She might. So yeah, yeah, that was my purchase. That's so sweet. That's so cute. Nope. Well, okay. so the racks in the store, right? All the yarn is hanging up. I couldn't really see or reach it because I'm vertically challenged. And there was all this stuff along the bottom, and I noticed that like wedged in the middle was a shelf all along the perimeter, and they were full of bags. So oh. I kept going, ooh, bags, ooh, another bag, but I still couldn't find one big enough, but I did get this one. That looks, the colorway looks real familiar on that. No, it doesn't. It looks like some, doesn't it look like something? No, it does not. It, I it, feel like it, I've seen it. It might have a little campfire on here somewhere. <laughs> the the scarf, really if you've seen previous episodes. It's got a little pocket scarf. inside. So I got that. So that she can it's really squishy. I think it's quilted. Like it's really fluffy. I like the fluffy. radio on yeah. it. Yeah, it's got a little lining. Pink yeah, I got it because of the, the pattern itself. Oh, mushrooms, nice. camping tent, Magic no, mushrooms. Bear. Is that a badger coming out or is that a bear? That's, a, That's bear. a bear. There's little pink ribbons on the tent. And I got the, is there? Yeah. yeah. And pink deer. There are. The little mouse in the tree house. And I got the winter spring Skunk. this year edition of Lane Magazine because it had some really cute sweaters mm. in there. Oh, I have to look at that one again. Lane. Loop. So that's what I got. Very nice. Then we left there and didn't go to a, another yarn shop immediately. We went in search of something else. But oh, I yeah, found, we like the strip plaza. We walked yeah. around it, maybe mm -hmm. looking for food or... I we were looking for the bracelets. The, bracelets. Oh, the, wrist bracelets. the wrist bracelets, yeah, yeah. They were. They had just the really small because ones. Because yes. the, the lady... Yes. What was her name? Beth, 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 Beth. and... And I'm so sorry. I want to say it was Sue, but I can't remember. I want to say it, it was might Catherine. Have, <laughs> all, oh. There's so many Kathy's. We love you all. all the, yeah. <laughs> but she recommended... She had seen the wrist rulers at, at Lux. Lux across the street yeah. wow so that's where we headed to go get them so i found um in one of the shops there the this kiosk. um the yellow kiosk stem handmade spa buddy um, spa is the scent body butter and they had um handmade soaps so and things many like that varieties. just really nice mm -hmm. scents and everything like that and um it was reasonable and fun and it was made in Lakewood, Ohio. Yes. So local. Local. Made local. Yeah. Lots of local shops. It was a really cute place over there. Yeah. There's so many different yeah, definitely. local vendors. Mm -hmm. So that was a good experience. Yeah. So then we headed on to Harps and Thistles. Which was our last mm -hmm. shop, shop for the that day. day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Harps and Thistles is in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, 129 Portage Trail. They do have a website, harpsandthistles.com. <laughs> So um, this is a shop we've frequented several mm -hmm. times. Yeah, we've been to before. Mm -hmm. It's a great store. When you drive past the front, you'll see the front. There's absolutely no parking there, no. so you have to go around. But and there is a big parking deck yes, right next, right behind next it. Yeah, walking distance. Yeah. yeah. So you come in through. It's the back. right behind it, so you mm -hmm. can come in. Through and the it's back. Cindy. Is that correct? The owner is Cindy. I feel like it's a. My Cindy. brain just. So like once again, I apologize if that's not the ambition. I she's think it is. Super personable. Um, when you walk in, she's easy to talk to. I know I went one day over the summer with my granddaughter. She just wanted to sit and knit. She sat down with us and just talked, and it was it was it was a really good experience. And it was packed in there also. Yes. She she looked very overwhelmed, but mm -hmm. was still very kind and and mm -hmm. you know t had, took a picture with us. Yeah. And yeah. she had this yeah. little um, like. A, Photoshop frame that everybody. No, knows. that was, that was artful, artful yarn. yarn. Yeah, we did. That's we right. did artful pictures. Sorry, of artful yarn. they're all artful yeah. yarn. Had the Photoshop thing, but this is um, what happens when you go to 
How many stores? Like and 12 shops in two days. Flaming, <laughs> and Flaming Ice Cube had the, the, selfie, the, station. the selfie station in the back. Yeah, series. we did all those. Yeah. Wow. We, we, we did those, yeah. Yes. I think we were the first ones at Flaming yes, Ice Cube to do Yes, because she commented on, oh, someone's actually using her selfie thing. <laughs> of course. So, doesn't take a lot to amuse no. us. <laughs> So at the um, Harps and Thistles, their free pattern was the Renee Mitts, which I found out later was a compliment to last year's pattern, which was the hat. And um, so it was a nice little combination of the two to kind of complete your set. And my purchase there, I had been gifted from my amazing room parents um, last year. They purchased a skein of yarn called Mother Knows Best, and um, soon we're going to be sharing information about a sweater we're making together, and I needed two of them, and I walked in keeping my fingers crossed, and she had one. So I was able to purchase my second skein that will be going with that sweater, and called Mother Knows Best. I love Is that the brand name? We're gonna um, no. Knitcraft and Knittery. Yeah, Knitcraft and Knittery. It's is, a fingering? Yes. A tonal green. Yes. So that was my purchase for... And I picked up the their shop exclusive from Destination Yarn called Portage Trail. And mm. it is a gorgeous... It's the brick road through um, Main Main Street there, or Portage mm. Trail in um, Kyle's really Falls. Lovely. And then the shop colors are in there. It is a, a really pretty um, skein of yarn. I'm loving that isn't Harps that, and that color tone yeah. there. Yeah. So that was, I, I just got, bought, oh, what'd you get? go ahead. I just bought another one of these with things that I'm addicted to, but this one has their little emblem on it, which I really like, the harps and thistles, and it is just a needle gitch. Very awesome. nice. That's cute. You had a whole collection of those banging around on your purse because you had them all attached. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a sweater's quantity of yarn that everyone helped me pick out. And we heard squealing. Yeah. There, squealing, of squealing may have happened. Just yes. from her. So. <laughs> 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 so this is the main whoop, body and this is the three irish girl and which then which i do believe cindy has a personal co connection and to the cindy, three irish because as you girls. say that it is right. solely cindy so i think there is a um a family connection the here. bottom color work is going to be in these two colors which are both the knit craft i'll let me put them together so I figured it all harmonies together. So I'm going to make a Oh, sweater. that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And is that DK? It's fingering. Fingering? fingering. Yeah. Couldn't remember. So yeah, oh these, God. you know, don't have any mustard in them at all. No. 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 And after a long time in Harps and Thistles, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> we went across the street to a restaurant that was... Oh. Packed, and we found out halfway during the restaurant they opened on Thursday, mm -hmm. and this was a Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. yeah, it was an Italian restaurant. Okay, names escaping me. Leo. I was gonna say she's gonna remember. Oh my gosh, it was really delicious. good. Delicious, delicious, really good. Delicious. I may yes. have gone back the following week with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. And the it's all... servers were very attending. Oh, yeah. our uh, server was wonderful. Great. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. she was absolutely. Her name wonderful. is Allison too. That's yes, okay, that's great. Right. Right. Yes. And um, after we found out that they had just opened, we realized there were a lot of people walking around appearing to be managers. Mm -hmm. And so I think they had all folks on deck. And um, they really were interested in what we had to say. And mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was a great experience. It felt as if it had been established for years and years. And right. it was yeah, they were on. really, yeah. it really had it together. And then, well, then we, we went to, to that little store. Yeah. Because they oh, had a yeah. sign out that said "Sweater weather is better yes. weather," so oh, we went yes. in. Mm -hmm. um, and cute little gift shop. Cute little Clothing gift shop. Boutique. We do have a picture. Yeah, it we is do have a among, picture. amongst our pictures. They and have it has a T-shirt the... that I really want that had a yak in a kayak. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want that? I don't understand. Because it's so cute. And what did you get yesterday? Nothing. I got nothing. Okay, nothing. She no, got nothing. Nothing. Got nothing. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Yeah. later. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a mystery purchase alone. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> sure. You won't know what you're getting. Right. And then on the way back to the um, 
the car apparently my brain did not register the that there was a fumes. step down because it was all brick it was uniform there was brick, brick from the curb the main brick, street to the, the road well, was it was brick. outlined in concrete so the curves right. were concrete it, everything in the shadows it was weird but it was in weird. on the sidewalk as well as the road and my brain just did not see two levels and i stepped down and went yeah. down it was and complete no yarn was injured. No yarn was so injured. Rest assured. And neither was the face. No, yes. her face did not. So hands her knees. went down. Knees, her knees, knees and hands. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but survived. Everything went it was well. Good that you had like a jean it type was, material. Oh my gosh, thank heavens I wasn't wearing um, shorts, shorts or even regular leggings because, yeah. yeah, I would have had, that would have been messier. And our next stop was home. So you were next able to get was home, home and rest so, yes. and get some ibuprofen yep. in. Yep. yep. It, all, it all worked out well. Mm -hmm. I was fine. Yeah. 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 So a Just lovely a end to the day. Yeah. <laughs> Jen and I held back the traffic. Yeah, they did. Thank heavens. Because, yes, well, I fell well, in the road. Well, Allison, our nurse, attended to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, But that good. was that, that was, was the, the end completion of, of the big day retreat. Two. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sweep yeah. of yarn Yeah, stores. that was our retreat. Yeah. The two days so overnight. Then mm -hmm. day three happens the following weekend. Mm -hmm. So I think this is our little end yeah. to day yeah. two. So... To be continued. Bye. Bye.